Many thanks to Daisy Podcast, Pandemonium, Fella Trucks and Village Servers, Atlas, MG Over the Ninja Mouse, One Original Daisy Servers, Sheriff Lion, Sour Kraut, Sergeant Pepper's Daisy Invasion Server, PGZ Servers, Dust Vanilla Servers, and Waste Z for making this video possible. Daisy 1.23 has made significant changes to where some of the best loot in the game now spawns while increasing the rarity of high tier weapons too. So in this video, we're going to check out all of the loot changes to Northwest Airfield, how the player group spawning mechanic works, and why contaminated areas are harder to get into but are much more rewarding now. Starting with a new loot dispatch, the M14 or DMR is the most desirable item out of all of them, with three of them spawning on Livonia and Chernarus at helis and convoys only. The 10 and 20 round DMR mags spawn in tier 2 and 3 on Livonia and tier 3 and 4 on Chernarus in military areas only. The re-added field shovel and OKZK cap is military too, with the skull variant of the new winter coif spawning here too, but only on Livonia. On Chernarus, you can find any type of winter coif in village locations. The Petoshka hat and two of the three padded gloves are village spawns only on both of the maps, with the fret variant of the padded gloves, the skull variant here, spawning exclusively in hunting locations on both. Other glove spawns were not reduced to make way for these new padded gloves, which are really good gloves by the way, but warm hats like the beanie now spawn less to make way for the three new hats this patch, with all of these new clothing pieces being very warm to wear. In redesigning Northwest Airfield, they had to change nearly every single loot spawn point, so the loot spawns have changed dramatically here, but for the most part, it's nearly all military loot. With the new Northwest Airfield, the loot is a lot more concentrated on the north side and the south side in this area, and even though there are many industrial buildings in this area, nearly all of them will spawn great tier 3 military gear, so they're all worth checking. But be aware that these towers don't spawn any loot at all. Industrial loot can also spawn inside these industrial areas, but it seems to be a lot less likely compared to the military loot, but there are better places on the map to get industrial loot in much safer areas. In the last patch, medical gear didn't spawn at the northwest at all, now it does, with a decent amount spawning inside this medical hangar building now, and at supply crates, so there's plenty of medical gear at northwest airfield now, of which supply crates now spawn outside of this hangar too, near this added plane, spawning all of the great loot that you can find in the main supply crate area over here, just to a lesser amount. All supply crates respawn and therefore refresh their loot every 30 minutes if no players within 1000 meters. The supply crates do move positions, but for the most part they're going to spawn in the exact same area, making them one of the best places to loot on Chernarus, of which night vision goggles and these four magazines can spawn, with the airfield being the only place that these supply crates will spawn and Livonia having none. On top of the medical loot, firefighter loot now spawns here due to the reskinned fire station being added to the Northwest Airfield and the fire trucks also. So you're going to get a lot of fire loot in this area, but military gear does spawn here too, with more fire loot spawning in every single town that has a fire station because these fire trucks were added outside each of the fire stations. As for the new bunker building, it appears to spawn a concentrated amount of loot, making it well worth looting, especially down in this bunker. I'm not sure exactly what they've done here to this building. No special loot was spawned here, but it seems to spawn weapons, ammo and explosives a lot more often than other buildings, so this building is a good place to loot. High tier weapon spawns have seen a major overhaul in this patch, implying that the devs want the best weapons in Daisy to be harder to acquire, but also creating a lot of incentive to loot these static contaminated areas instead. Not only has the SVD and Org AX been moved from helis and convoys to spawn exclusively inside these gas zones, but they've massively increased the respawn timers of all the best loot in these areas. For example, the respawn timer of the suppressors was 4 hours, but now it respawns every 1 hour, and the same goes with most of the good loot inside this area such as the SVD that was moved here this patch, it was 8 hours, now it's 1 hour. This basically means that one trip of a contaminated zone will reward you with more loot than you can possibly imagine, even if someone was there 2 hours before you, all of this gear will most likely respawn before you get there, making every single trip you go here guaranteed to score you some of the best loot in the game. This footage you're seeing here is just one server reset. All of this loot could be yours in just one trip every single hour. I believe the devs know this and they want people to get the NBC gear and then go off to the contaminated areas to get some of the better loot in the game. To balance how loot heavy these zones are now, the amount of NBC gear you can find on Chernarus has been cut in half to 50% and most top tier weapons now appear to only spawn once per map. So the SVD for example was spawning 5 per map 
but now it will only spawn once per map. So you can only find one SVD on the map, like the night vision optics and the Org AX. There's only one of each. However, on the flip side, the AS Val and the VSS have been increased from one spawning per server in the gas zones to six spawning in the highest tier. So on Livonia, that's tier three. On Archernerus, that's tier four. That's where the AS Val and the VSS spawn now, with the mags of these weapons spawning twice as often in any military area. So these weapons are gonna be night and day difference in how easy you can get them. With these changes, it also comes a push to make the AK-74, AKS-74U and M16 harder to get, making all of them spawn one tier higher in this patch compared to last patch, at least on Chernerus. On both of the maps, the LAR mag used to spawn in high tier military areas, now it's helis, convoys and these supply crates only, with the LAR still spawning in helis and convoys only, not inside gas zones like the SVD. Every time you join a server, you are joining and connecting and getting sent to a player spawn point. This is the position where you get put on the map when you're starting out. And these player spawn points that are near each other have been all grouped together. For example, all of the Electro spawns have been merged into the Electro spawn group. And all of the Berezino spawns, again, the Berezino spawn group. Every six minutes a new spawn group slash area is selected and all players respawning or joining the server as a fresh spawn will spawn at any of these player spawn points in that spawn group. For example, if Berezino is selected, you will get a Berezino spawn point. The spawn group or area that gets selected is completely and utterly random when it changes, but server owners can change many factors relating to these group spawns such as the counter for how many players can spawn together before the group gets switched. On vanilla servers though, it's every six minutes by default and there is no counter. So it's just six minutes, it switches randomly, six minutes, it switches randomly again. The system for which group is going to be selected next is completely random. On Livonia though, it is a little bit more complicated as by default about half the player spawn groups are set to change randomly every four minutes instead of six minutes by default. So six minutes is the default on Livonia still, but half of them are set to four minutes with a lot of new spawn points being added on Livonia in the Topolin area. A new mechanic this patch is the inability to build inside Livonia's bunker, which means that it's better to loot here now because it's easier to access the bunker, which still spawns the Org AX and the goggles in the level three area. So if you're going to the Livonia bunker, it's gonna be easier to get loot here now. From all of the changes to loot this patch, it seems that the devs want to make it harder to get some of the best of the best weapons and gear in the game, centralizing loot to high tier areas and these new supply crates and rewarding those that do the grind of getting the NBC gear a lot more with these respawn timers in gas zones. Because of these changes, I'm sure they're looking for a lot of feedback on this. So let me and the devs know your loot experiences patch. It's very difficult to test the loot experience of players from individual to individual. So has it been too easy for you, too difficult? Have you been able to find the certain types of loot that you want and do you believe there needs to be any changes? To help you find more loot, the Loot Finder is now fully up to date with 1.23, link below, or you can check out why I believe the DMR is now the best weapon in DayZ here. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.